Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog I say, another vlog. That was quite a nice start wasn't it, got up early this morning, it's very frosty. So um, I took the dog for a walk and uh, then I thought you know what, I'm going to go back out with the black magic camera. So that's why I did that. And the old uh, wildlife camera caught all that commotion this morning with me and the swans. Um, I don't really want to hurt them, well I won't, don't want to hurt them swans obviously, but I'm a bit worried that Hector's going to go for them so I've got a new tactic. So um, I wash them away and they do seem to just go away and they don't panic too much. So that's the best I can do because they, they are trying to nest and it's like I say I can't have that happen. Not out here because uh, Hector will have them. I mean he's had a go at one properly already and I've had to pull him off so you know we can't have that I guess. So I'm all by myself today. All by myself. Lee's gone off. Well she's gone working this morning and uh, then she's going off to London with her daughter and her mum and Maxine her sister to watch Pretty Woman. So I don't know some theatre thing I can't be doing with that. So obviously I'm going to watch the football this afternoon and um, make merry I guess because I'm on my own, me and Hector, the two boys left on the boat. So it um, must be about beer o'clock, eh? I'm going to have a couple of beers and I'm going to settle in and watch the football. Might do a bit of videoing later and uh, see what happens. Speak to you later, bye. Bist du ein machtiger Hund? You've been learning German, haven't we, Hector? You're an actiger hund. Yes, you are. Lee, have you been out paddling this morning? I have. It was a very rude awakening. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> up, out, done, sorted. Yeah, but let's be honest, what time was up? Ten. <laughs> <laughs> I had a late night last night. Well, I didn't get into quarter to one last night, so, you know. Oh. <laughs> Lee, there's a tree growing out of your head. Is there? Yeah. <laughs> Favourite tree. No. Hector keeps putting his head in that comfrey. Oh, he's probably put his bone in there. No, he's he knows there's rats in there. Yeah. It's all not just in one place; it's everywhere. Oh, great. Bye. Bye. There you. Yes, darling. It's freezing, isn't it? Yes. But we 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 were determined to come out and sit at the naughty to naughty bench and have a drink. We were. Lee's got wine. I'm I'm on diet lager at the moment. Diet lager. Well, it is diet, isn't it? What, just because it's a small can? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but knowing you, you'll just drink more of them. Well, obviously, but <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's got less sugar in it because it's a smaller can. Thank you. Oh, at least it's keeping our beverages cool. I tell you. Tell you. It's like a walnut whip, I say, a walnut whip. <laughs> Lee's just thinking nothing changes. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Do you think that stick's a bit too big for Hector? <laughs> He's been whining. We just pulled it out of the canal. I could hear it knocking against the boat last night. And then I saw it in the water this morning. So I pulled it out and it was out of his reach. And he was just whining. We didn't know what he was whining out. So we let him off his lead. And he went over to that and he, wants it, he wanted it dragged over here. You're a gobshite, Hector. This one, mate. Oh, I didn't. I messed me German up there, Hector. We haven't been learning enough. This one, Machtiger Hund. Machtiger, I say. 
<laughs> Lee? Yes, darling. It's freezing, isn't it? Yes, it is. But we're still going to eat alfresco, aren't we? We are. It's now, sunny. <laughs> it is now. Have a guess what, Lee? We're what? doing our bit for the environment. Are we? We are. We started up Smokey Joe. <laughs> I don't know that you can see it on camera, to be fair. The old Lithuanian does smoke a bit. It smells gorgeous. I love the smell of diesel. But look. It's actually turned out all right now. He says as he's wearing his gloves. I've had about seven wees this afternoon because it's so cold. Dinner al fresco, I say. <laughs> Might have to put our gloves back on, Lee. <laughs> so we have Cornish pasty with boiled potatoes and beans. It's a very lazy dinner. <laughs> Bye. Oh, look, we've untied the ropes. We're going to go out. Bugger it. I know it's getting late, but we're going to bugger off out. Yes. We just vacated the marina. Yes, it's you. You just I just see it in your eyes or whatever. Mm, what are you doing tomorrow? Oh, what are you doing? Mm. Uh, come on, let's go. <laughs> what? Well, it's a nice so evening, isn't it? So, it's a bugger it. <laughs> I think we're coming up to Elliot's boat in a minute, aren't we, Lee? I didn't hear what you said. We are. We are. Thomasine, or I say. Now you can hold the camera. I'm trying to steal it. Look through what you're videoing. Well, I was just trying to work out whether that was their boat or not. Oh, it is. Is it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of didn't look like theirs. So I was thinking, oh, oh they're the gone. Dog. <laughs> huh? See the dog. Oh, is he peeping his head out? You're not looking, are you? No. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, God. <laughs> Where's the dog then? Where's Jack? I was joking. Oh. <laughs> We're still looking that for that darn cat. <laughs> we better turn it off. Matey boy doesn't like video. <laughs> It's like deja vu. I've been along here already yeah. today. <laughs> but you had to work for it today. I did. I did say it would be easier with an engine. <laughs> Look at the mighty hound enjoying his little cruise. Oh, that's it, Hector. Move out of the way when I start. <laughs> He's a fish. There he is. <laughs> All right, Ellie. Yeah, but don't that engine sound lovely? Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, <with> sunglasses. <laughs> and your thermals at the same time. <laughs> Not a bad spot, I say. What do you think, Lee Lawson? Very nice. This is where we stopped. Our last stop on our first maiden voyage, wasn't it? It was when we bought Hannah. Where did we buy her? 
Wigram's turn. Wigram's turn. And then we thought that Gayton was miles from here. So we stopped here for the last night. And it's down the road around the corner. <laughs> Happy days. Happy days. I've still got my slippers on. I didn't have a chance to get changed. I've got my wellies on. <laughs> Bye. Hello. There's a sheep saying hello. <laughs> Maybe he's not happy that we moored here. Well, that's it. Prove me to be a liar and meh and walk away. <laughs> Some dodgy old bugger coming past. <laughs> I'll tell you, you're braving it, aren't you, in the wind? What? You're braving it in the wind, aren't you? It's all right, though, isn't it? Morning. Yeah, we got to go back today, so we're going to have to brave it. Just going down to get water, then come so far back. Yeah. Where are you getting water? Got to Bugbrook. Yeah. yeah. See you in a bit. Good morning everyone. It's not quite as nice as it was yesterday, is it? But it is nice to be out on cut now. So uh, it's a bit windy. We got woken up by rain at about five o'clock this morning, absolutely peed down. I didn't really get back to sleep after that. So I got up about, well I did, I stayed up for a minute. When I went and had a wee and that as you do. And then um, I think about seven, I got up again. I needed a poo and sort the fire out. So I sorted the fire out and done me business. Then I went back to bed, couldn't sleep, got back up and just poked around with the fire a bit again and stayed up. Lee got up about, I don't know, half ten, something like that. She's in the crutch. Where are you, Lee? Yes, we're going to have to brave the uh, wind. There's only three boats gone by, as you saw the last one was Elliot. So he's just going out to get water in Bugbrook, so he'll be back this way as well soon. And uh, the, connect, the hotel boat, the YB, has been passed and one other boat, so that's all, only three boats today. People don't really want to be out in this, I guess. These Easter holidays, so I thought I'd see more. Anyway, I hope the engine starts in a bit. Bye. I like this stretch of the canal. <laughs> Thank you, darling. It's changed from beard, isn't it? Nice and calm in here. It's hard getting off the bank, wasn't it, Lee? Goodness me. With the wind, because it was on side on at us, exactly side on, the boat didn't want to come off the coven, or the alcove, or whatever it's called. What's it called? Alcove. That's it. Bye. Well, Paul's going to attempt to turn around at Bugbrook, so here goes. This is going to go wrong, I just warned everyone. <laughs> I can feel the wind already. So where is it? So it's here, is it? Is this it? Oh no. Oh yes. this little boat outside that house there. I think it's called Bale Faster. <laughs> and the giraffes in the garden.
there's a boat coming. <laughs> oh, there's monkeys in the tree now. <laughs> face <laughs> Two crashes wasn't bad. <laughs> Only crashed twice. <laughs> Off. Lee, why have you got dirty knees and trousers? Dirty knees and trousers? Because I fell off the boat. <laughs> why did you fall off the boat? Well, because somebody, at, we were turning into, or well, about to turn into the marina. Somebody over there was, we didn't know what they were doing, so we had to pull over to the side. And I jumped over, and you know, I think it was a bit further than I thought. Yeah, to hold us I into the bank, because it's windy, remember? Leapt over. But you said you thought my foot, my back foot slipped, so maybe... Yeah, I, on the deck, somehow. And then I just kind of went... Mm -hmm. But I didn't know what the fella was doing either, because he was yeah. reversing, but he wasn't looking backwards, so I didn't no. know whether he was just fiddling around there. I could have slipped in before him. And to be honest with you, it would have been a lot easier for him to just stop and let us skip in through there. I'd have been gone in yeah. a second, but that didn't <laughs> happen. Yeah, we just laughed at Lee falling over. It was like in slow motion, bless her. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm lucky I didn't break anything. Yeah, well, I hurt my ankle by you doing that. Bye. That in sympathy. Yep. <laughs> As you can see, we're the other way round, so we've got a different view. It's actually nicer being this way round, apart from you can't be as nosy, because when we're the other way round, we're kind of facing into the marina. So um, I can watch what's going, or who's going by and all that sort of stuff. So when you're this way round, obviously it's nicer when I'm working out here, because I've got a nicer view. And I can be a bit nosy, looking out the side of the cratch, I guess. But there you go. Don't often reverse it in because it's so hard to reverse this boat. You just don't understand, honestly, it's so hard, but we did it really well last night. Anyway, that's it, bye. Have any of you noticed anything different about this video than our normal ones? Apart from there's been a little bit more Black Magic stuff in it, again, the old Black Magic cinema camera stuff at the start. But apart from that, have you noticed anything? I colour graded it. I've been messing around. It look, you can see it looks a bit more, um, what do you call it, nostalgic, I guess. Um, it's actually a film emulation that I've been playing with. But let me just explain something, because I like explaining things every now and again. I've been watching um, La uh, Last Kingdom. I've watched it all now. I'm really sad that I got to the last episode of that. 
and it's absolutely brilliant but that's all been color graded uh, if you watch any film it doesn't look like like a GoPro or anything like that it looks very cinematic because it's all been color graded <clears throat> as I say I'm no colorist but I thought I'd have a play and I try and give it that kind of cinematic feel but it's been very hard because uh, obviously a lot of this stuff is just shot with action cameras <clears throat> oh excuse me I've got the herpens <clears throat> yeah a lot of it is just done with action cameras and uh, of course they're completely different color output to the professional camera that I use the, the black magic so it's been difficult matching the shots and I haven't I haven't done a brilliant job of that but I have learned a lot because there's other settings on these cam on these GoPros uh, not GoPros the Insta360 and the Osmo where I'm shooting now in a flat profile and you don't know what I'm on about but I should on the next one I might be able to match a different so we can start giving our vlogs a bit of a different look I'm only like I say I, I just wanted to learn something do you all like learning something it is nice to learn something there isn't it and I enjoy doing this, it keeps me busy. I mean, work has been quite quiet today, so I've been learning a bit more today as well. But um, what else, what other news is there? Since uh, you see me um, washing those swans away, have a guess what? I mean, I've done it a few times now. They've not been back. I've seen them swimming around, but they've not been out on the green, or I don't think by Sue's boat since. So hopefully that's worked, because as I say, we just can't have them nesting, because it'd just be a bloody nightmare. Um, and I haven't seen the rats, so I haven't had the, the camera out down that low, but I have had it up higher and I haven't seemed to have so much movement on that. But I shall put it back down low and, and see what the scores are then, because I guess if they're breed, we're going to have to do something about it, or at least tell the marina. Um, I mean, obviously I could just stick a bit of rat poison down the holes, but um, it's not really for me to do, is it? It's, it's, you know, it's not Paul's garden, is it? <laughs> There's a joke in there, but I'm not allowed to say it yet. I will do, but this is funny, it's all too much to say. Right, anything else? Oh, we are, we might put the um, wildlife cameras up the top, the, the bottom. I keep calling that way the top, but it's not, it's actually the bottom, because north is that way, south is that way. So it's down by where you see me going for a walk a lot of the mornings, down that way. Uh, we're going to put, well, we're, we're talking about putting a couple of cameras down there, the wildlife ones, because I've got one and got another guy on here has got one to catch the phantom dog shit on clearer upper. Someone just lets their dogs roam around, obviously, and don't pick up their dog shit. And uh, it's starting to get on our tits. Now, if, if I hope they watch this video. If, if they are people who watch this channel, I hope they get the message that we're not happy about it. I know I'm having a bit of a rant, but no, we're not bloody happy about it. We don't want a, this um, marina covered in dog shit. It really isn't that hard to pick up your dog shit. Now what we suspect is that and they're just letting them off their boats to roam for a bit, which you're not supposed to on the marina, dogs are supposed to be on the lead, which I can understand. So yeah, so that's me little moan for today. I don't want dog shit up there, so if you're watching, bloody well stop it. And if you're not watching, we'll find out who you are anyway. Bye. <laughs>
and uh, she topped it back up with fluid and she's kind of got herself to her clients but that's sounding more and more like a head gasket for that car so that's going to be anywhere between two and three grand <sighs> my car's off the road because we decided because the clutch was going and it needed an MOT we thought we'd take it off the road just to keep the cost down because we know everything's getting very expensive now and my work still hasn't come back online after all this convid nonsense so yeah so we're struggling in that way so Lee can't even take my car in while her car's being done because that's going to take at least a week because it's probably going to need the head skimming so I'm not quite sure what we're going to do because my car will be about well new clutch and an MOT and a new back tyre which are run flats it's going to be 900 oh correct 900 to a grand I guess something like that so I'm not quite sure what to do Lee might have to hire a car or something while hers is being done so yeah so uh the euphoria of having a bit of fun and then straight back down to earth with a massive bill and we've just paid the marina bill so well me and Lee will have to discuss it tonight and see what we do but yeah not a great start to Wednesday I'll speak to you later bye quick update before we go sleepy night nights as you can see there's no one beside me I'm all on my own so um Lee had to stay in Luton her car isn't right so uh She's gone to our daughter's and she, uh, our daughter's going to let her borrow her car for the next couple of days or whatever. And Ellie's going to phone a garage in Dunstable tomorrow to get her car looked at properly. So yeah, so I'm all on me Todd. Well, maybe not quite. There seems to be a hound. You're right in the next one. <laughs> Shh, don't tell Lee. Bye. Nighty night. See you in the morning. So, further to what we were talking about yesterday, I'm up the uh, bottom end of the arena. And look down here. I saw this this morning when I took Hector for a poo. Oh, uh, <laughs> took him for a poo. Took him out for his little walk. And I thought I'll leave it there and go and get my camera. And I will pick it up. So, the shitter has struck again. She's only just got this car and there's rubbish on the seat already. It's not like snacks. It's not rubbish. I'll tell you. <laughs> the glasses, in case it's sunny. <laughs> there's a suspicious stain on that seat. <laughs> Wasn't Lee. you've actually got home. <laughs> Is that all you got to say? You're not going to indulge with what's been going on. We've got Emma's car, by the way. I'll do it because Lee's Thank not very really talking. Our daughter's car. Lee's car oh. got humped up to Northampton on the back humped. of the. Yeah, well, it, uh, the photo. I'll show the photo now. It looks and it was like it really was really high. <laughs> It, well, it looked like it was shagging the Isuzu, I tell you. <laughs> but he did, I think, because we're strapping the wheels and strapping underneath. And then he did lower me down. So I said, oh, good, they are bending down. <laughs> or he, not me. He was on his own. Anyway, it's pretty much certain said gasket. So that's, uh, that is going to be three grand lighter, isn't it, really? It's just all too much to say. All too much. So we're going shopping. Because, <laughs> because Lee's going to... Yeah, probably. That's all I've got to eat for the rest of the year. Well, all I care about is beer. <laughs> Lee, there's one thing. Don't crash Emma's car. No. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say now. You took me off at a tangent because you didn't let me talk. And she says I interrupt. Bye. <laughs> well, we've done all our shopping in Lidl. Because we have to buy cheap shit now to pay for Lee's car. <laughs> I'll make sure I've got enough beer, because that's the important thing. Can it, Lee? I do. I said the most important thing is I've got enough beer. <laughs> and Lee rediscovered some beer that she likes. Yes. I haven't found it for ages in Lidl, and they've changed the cans. Because it wasn't so cans I... before, was it? Yeah, it was. Oh, was they it? started doing the amber in the cans. Huh. But it was like a brown can with orange writing. Now it's red and white, so... Was it like a, a beer can? Is, is that like a um, Jamaican saying bacon? Yes. Beer can? Beer can, yes, Don. I'll get told off for that one when I buy it. 
Oh, let me tell you. We bought this in Lidl that Hector's got hold of there. It's a steak looking toy. It smells like steak and I guess it tastes like steak and Hector has been messing around with that now for pretty much nearly half an hour I guess. So that's been a hit hasn't it Hector? Hector do you like your steak? Do you like your steak you mighty hound? I wish I'd known he would really like them because I did the chicken one as well and I only bought the steak one. Bye. Hector, say bye. Say bye. Good morning, everyone. It's a bit nicer out here, isn't it? And it's Friday. And let's hope this weather stays for a bit. It's a much nicer view from the cratch now, isn't it? Well, as most of you know, it's normally me chores day today, isn't it? But I actually did a lot of them last night. So I filled up with water. I did all the uh, drinking water bottles and a couple of other bits because what happened, as it was starting to get dark last night, those pesky swans were out on the green again. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and wash them away. And as I had the hose out, Thought, well, I might as well fill up with water as well. And I did wash them away, so they're gone again. I haven't seen them today. Blooming things, eh? And uh, have a guess what? I'm all by myself again. The wife has left me. She's, um, well, she's working today and she's staying at her sister's tonight. I think I'm going to have to get a standing wife at this stage, don't you? Any of us? <laughs> Obviously, I'm only joking, Lee. Don't get your knickknacks in a twist. That's about it then, guys. Have a fabulous weekend and uh, have a good week. And um, I'm sure there'll be more nonsense next week. Speak to you later. Bye. Love you.